Welcome back to another episode. Today we are talking MetaConnect 2024 with sleek looking glass and awesome tech. Meta just showcased their latest tech that's straight out of science fiction. From futuristic AR glasses to the powerful new Quest 3S headset, Meta's latest AI upgrades, and cutting edge tools for content creators that bring a whole new level of interaction, there's so much to unpack. So let's jump in and explore the innovations shaping the future. Meta Connect 2024 is a developer-centric event featuring a keynote from CEO Mark Zuckerberg. He showcased new hardware and software to support two of Meta's big ambitions, AI and the Metaverse. First up are Meta's revolutionary Orion glasses. These are not your typical AR glasses. They come with see-through lenses that project holograms directly into your field of vision, no screens, no cameras, just augmented reality right before your eyes. Whether it's navigating streets or interacting with virtual objects, these glasses are powered by an AI assistant and controlled via a neural wristband. It's like controlling tech with your mind, literally. And while Orion isn't quite ready for consumers yet, Meta's using this as a developer kit to build the next wave of AR apps. It's a bold move, and they're definitely setting the stage for mainstream AR. Touting Orion's lightweight, compatibility for hand tracking and eye tracking, and most ambitiously, a neural interface, Zuckerberg also touted some impressed and famous early testers, including NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. With Brandon Moreno, former UFC flyweight champion of the world, where he is speaking Spanish and I am speaking English. All right, Brandon, you want to come out here and show us this? Starting live translation from Spanish to English. Hey, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo está tu rodilla? ¿Has vuelto a entrenar? Hey, how are you? How is your knee back training? Doing well. Knee is, is doing well. It feels strong. I'm ramping up training. Um, how are you doing? Are you getting ready for your next fight? Haciendo bien. La rodilla está. Está haciendo bien y sentirse fuerte. Next, Meta revealed the Quest 3S headset, a major upgrade for VR and mixed reality fans. It's packed with powerful visuals, support for Dolby Atmos, and exclusive games like Batman Arkham Shadow that take full advantage of its enhanced performance. With apps for everything from VR painting to a home theater experience with Twitch and Netflix, the Quest 3S is a versatile beast. Not to mention, Meta's pushing this at a very competitive price, which is less expensive than the Quest 3 starting at $299 for the 128GB version and $256GB for $399. The entirely wireless headset is compatible with the existing library of Quest apps and games, though Meta was particularly enthusiastic about its mixed reality features. This is the new Meta Quest 3S. <laughs> High quality mixed reality for $299. Hell yeah. It's where you can see the world around you, you can reach out and touch digital things as if they're right there. Um, Quest 3 is the best mixed reality device that you can buy today, and, and I am really proud of it. Quest 3S has the same defining features as Quest 3, high resolution, color, mixed reality, powered by the same processor, vivid pass-through, hand tracking, Feels natural, touch plus controllers for precision. You get the full range of experiences from Horizon OS, gaming, social, fitness, watching videos, productivity, and more. So whether you're looking to get started with the base Quest 3S, or if you want the top of the line Quest 3 with 512 gigabytes and 4K displays, which is now just 499, the Quest 3 family, it's not just the best value, it is the best product available. Everything you're gonna see up here is streamed from his headset live. This is what he is seeing. Yeah, it's sharp. Yeah. All right, Kenny, what do we got? All right, now the first thing that you can see is that we have expanded <laughs> the quality, uh, the, 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 the volume of content massively. Yeah, sorry to the dude next to him. <laughs> live demo artifact. All right. Um, you can now run everything from 2D mobile apps to remote desktop for PC uh, to fully immersive experiences all on one device. You can open screens, you can put them anywhere around you, 
You can have pretty much as many of them running as you want. Now let's talk about the new Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Ray-Ban's Meta smart glasses are getting upgrades as the company continues to try and make the case that the smart glasses can become the next big consumer device. At the forefront of the pitch is the addition of real-time AI video processing, which lets you to ask the Ray-Ban Meta glasses questions about what it can see in front of you. But the biggest news? Real-time translation and video assistance for travelers. Imagine wearing your Ray-Bans in Paris and having the glasses translate conversations for you in real time. They're also working with Be My Eyes to assist those with visual impairments by describing their surroundings through video calls, hands-free help, just like that. The sunglasses will also be getting a smartphone-like reminder feature, live language translation between English and French, Italian, or Spanish, and full integration with music streaming apps like Amazon Music, Audible, and iHeartRadio. So today, we are dropping a limited edition of clear, transparent frames. Um, and I think this is neat because it's, it's, it's a neat vibe, right? You can see the technology in them. You know, for the first few versions, we spent so much energy designing the glasses to basically hide the technology, um, to make them look like normal, stylish glasses. But now I think people are starting to appreciate what makes them special. And I think having a design that celebrates that um, is pretty awesome. Next, let's talk Meta AI upgrades. Meta's new AI assistant can now respond to your voice on popular platforms like Messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram DMs. You can even send photos, and it will analyze them, offering helpful advice or information based on the image. But here's something that will excite content creators. Meta is testing translated and dubbed content. Imagine publishing a video in English and having it instantly translated and dubbed in multiple languages for your global audience. Meta's AI also offers personalized feedback on your content, giving creators a powerful tool to expand reach effortlessly. Mi lengua materna es el español, pero fíjate, ahora también puedo hablar inglés a través del doblaje automático de IA. Mis labios se sincronizan con la traducción y todo. Es increíble. Qué cool poder conectar con personas y audiencias que hablen inglés. My native language is Spanish, but check it out. Now I can also speak English through AI automatic dubbing. My lips are synchronized with the translation and everything. It's amazing how cool to be able to connect with people and audiences who speak English. And let's not forget Meta's cutting edge El Llama 3.2 AI model released at the event. This new version is multimodal, meaning it can analyze both text and images, understanding complex scenes and providing captions or context. It's one of the most powerful open source models out there, boasting up to 90 billion parameters. Whether it's generating detailed narratives from visuals or handling real-time image analysis, El Llama 3.2 is leading the charge into a new era of AI. The Llama 3.21b and 3b models support context length of 128k tokens and are state-of-the-art in their class for on-device use cases like summarization, instruction following, and rewriting tasks running locally at the edge. These models are enabled on day one for Qualcomm and MediaTek hardware and optimized for ARM processors. I'd love to start with these. 10 years of work right there. Someone on your team called these the real life Tony Stark glasses. Very hard to make each one of these. That makes me feel incredibly optimistic. In a world where AI gets smarter and smarter, this is probably gonna be the next major platform after phones. I miss hugging my mom. Yeah, haptics is hard. How does generative AI change how social media feels? We haven't found the end yet. The average American has fewer friends now than they did 15 years ago. Why do you think that's happening? I mean, there's a lot going on to, to unpack there. I'm about to interview Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. There are not that many people with more power over what our future might look like. Nearly half the total human population now uses Meta products. And I just tested some of their new tech that feels like science fiction. <gasps> This is crazy. Mark Zuckerberg and the team at Meta are imagining a future that billions of other people might actually end up living in. So my goal for this conversation is to try to figure out what that future really looks like. To paint a picture of the future Mark Zuckerberg is trying to build so that you can decide for yourself what you think of it. 